it's not that there's transportation infrastructure there. There's massive transportation infrastructure, mm. there. highways, limited access roads that do not provide the ability for folks to access. And so it's this gigantic physical barrier between these communities and this amenity, um, you know, of, of the river and the waterfront. So um, there is a lot of attention to, to doing it. It's hard. So it's, a, it's a challenging thing because you're taking something away from people who don't may not be able to benefit from it. And they don't understand why it's being done. And it's really expensive. So it usually happens when something has to be done anyway. Um, and the places that do do it really don't ever regret it. Because in, I, I can heart, cannot think of an example where they've opened up the waterfront to, um, to, uh, to human access by taking down the transportation infrastructure, not getting rid of it, but maybe just resizing it or right-sizing it where it hasn't worked, right? So, I mean, New York does not regret taking down the West Side Highway um, San Francisco's Embarcadero Freeway was damaged in the free in the earthquake. They took that down. Obviously, gigantic success there. Um, there's a there's a spur in Milwaukee where they've taken down. Same kind of thing. Open that up for redevelopment and open up access to um, into the waterfront there. Uh, the Alaskan Way viaduct in Seattle need to be replaced. This gigantic um, piece of infrastructure right on the waterfront. They took that down, turned it into more a, a, a boulevard and a tunnel. Super expensive, but it's going to be a huge benefit for, for that city and also has all kinds of economic benefits as well. And then there's a bunch of places that, that haven't done it yet, but, but people want to in Buffalo and in Detroit, Tacoma, Washington. There's all kinds of these freeways that are in Trenton, New Jersey. It's a great one. It's right on the, right on the water right there. Um, a lot of, of folks who are targeting these things and tying it back to what you're talking about before, as we're thinking about money. For infrastructure, we don't have to just think about building new stuff. It'd be perfectly legitimate and probably really beneficial for a lot of places to use that money and actually take the infrastructure down, uh, especially the infrastructure that's obsolete or, or infrastructure that was built for a different generation, especially if you have this benefit of opening up the waterfront uh, and making that a great amenity for, for people and for places.